Princess Sophie as a child Princess Sophie of Hohenberg July 24, 1901, October 27, 1990, was the only daughter of Archduke Franz Ferdinand of Austria and his wife Sophie. Duchess of Hohenberg, both of whom were assassinated at Sarajevo on June 28, 1914. Their assassination triggered the First World War, thus Sophie and her two brothers are sometimes described as the first orphans of the First World War. Princess Sophie was born on July 24, 1901 at Konopis Chateau, in Austria-Hungary, 50 kilometers southeast of Prague. This chateau, situated in Bohemia, was the favorite home of the Archduke and his wife. On September 29, 1902, the couple's first son, Maximilian, was born. A second son, Ernst, followed on May 17, 1904. In 1908, the Archduke's wife became pregnant again, but the fourth child, a boy, was stillborn on November 7, 1908. Since the Archduke had sworn an oath that any children he had with his morganatic wife could never succeed to the throne, he envisaged a future for them that would be normal and tranquil. He wanted his sons to lead the uncomplicated life of a country squire, while he intended that his daughter, Sophie, would be happy at the side of a socially suitable partner whom she loved. He hoped that his children would grow up to be private individuals who could enjoy life without material worries, while leading lives of anonymity. Sophie later said that she and her brothers were brought up to know they were nothing special. She stated that her father had been firm with his children, but never harsh or unjust. After the assassination of her parents, Sophie and her two surviving brothers, Maximilian and Ernst, were taken in by their mother's brother-in-law and their father's close friend and shooting partner, Prince Yaroslav von Thun und Hohenstein. In late 1918, their properties in Czechoslovakia, including Konopist and Klumitz nad Sidlino, were confiscated by the Czechoslovak government. The children moved to Vienna and Schloss Artstetten. On September 8, 1920, Sophie married Count Friedrich von nustitz Rienek, son of Count Erwin Felix von nustitz Rienek and Count Somalia Podstatsky Lichtenstein, in Techen. They had four children, in 1938, following the Angelus, her brothers Maximilian and Ernst were arrested by the Gestapo as a result of making anti-Nazi statements and deported to Dachau concentration camp. Their properties in Austria were confiscated by Nazi authorities. They both survived their imprisonment in Dachau. Sophie's husband died in 1973, after which she led a quiet life in Austria, accompanied at times by her grandchildren. In 1981, she visited Konopist for the first time in 60 years. During this visit, she talked of how happy her family life had been there. Sophie lived to be 89 years old, dying in October 1990 at Thanhausen, Austria. She was laid to rest beside the body of her husband in the family crypt of her son-in-law, Baron Ernst Eudinus, at nearby Witzburg. She had outlived both of her younger siblings by many years. During the trial of the man accused of murdering Archduke Franz Ferdinand and his wife, the only defendant to express remorse was Indelko Kabernovic, who expressed his regrets for what he had done and apologized to the children of the victims. Princess Sophie and her brothers were told about Kabernovic's apology and wrote a letter to him. In the letter, they said they had heard about his apology and stated that his conscience could be at peace because they forgave him for his role in the murder of their parents. Sophie and Max signed the letter, but Ernst refused. The letter was delivered personally to Kabernovic in his cell at Theresienstadt, in Bohemia, by the Jesuit father Anton Punigam, who had given the last rites to Franz Ferdinand and his wife. On January 23, 1916, Princess Sophie and her brothers were informed that Kabernovic had died. A fictional version of Princess Sophie, played by Danish actress Amelie Ela Alstrup, appeared in Vienna, November 1908, an episode of the young Indiana Jones Chronicles later re-edited to form half of the perils of Cupid. Young Indy falls in love with the princess and shares his first kiss with her, but is forbidden from seeing her further. Several times during the series, he is shown wearing a locket that contains her picture, which she gave to him. Thanks for watching.